Hello, my name is uh, Lorenzo. I am uh, working in advertising since 20 years. And I'm sort of a schizophrenic because I don't really like advertising. If there is one thing that I hate, it's advertising. But I do work in advertising. And, um, you know, the most irritating thing is that everywhere, you know, advertising is just like whatever you do, wherever you are, boom, advertising, advertising, advertising. And that doesn't really apply to me. But tonight, <clears throat> because it's so late, I would like to tell you a scary story to wake you up a bit. And maybe you will have nightmares this night. Not too distant from here, there is a place where a cow, or also a flower, or even a car, are considered more important than a child. The people living there have a bizarre way of calculating the value of their money. For instance, they think it is smarter and it makes more sense to pay 350 euros for something they could have for 0.0001 cent. The air in this place is horribly polluted by thousands and thousands of trucks going every day back and forth to bring everywhere something that is everywhere already. Their oceans instead are huge and full of fishes. The most common one of them is this one. It's called bottlefish. It's a predator and it's part of the known biodegradable species. There are tons of bottlefishes in the oceans because nobody fishes them and they never die. They look innocent, but when they release their plastic caps, they become more than little than sharks and barracudas. Businessmen of this place are into very lucrative businesses. For instance, they buy glaciers from other countries. Their companies instead often hire magicians. Humans, yes, but able to do amazing things. Things like turning common tap water into a crystalline original waterfall water. Just by putting a picture of a glacier of a waterfall on the label of their bottles. People love their tricks and don't mind to pay billions of euros to be part of their shows. It seems that in this place there is a city, a bit bigger than this one where we're now, let's say a city with a couple of million citizens, where every day, every single one of them have the habit to drink from bottled water. And then when they finish to the drink, they throw the empty bottles on the ground. They do, they must like to do that because they do that every five minutes. As weird as it sounds, in this city they just opened an hotel where for a bath filled with Hawaiian water, pure Hawaiian water, they charge you $11,000. Scary. Oh, we interrupt the presentation for a short commercial break. You see, the advertising is everywhere. Unbelievable. This advertisement is brought to you by jointhepipe.org. I'm Lorenzo, I'm the co-founder of this uh, movement. Hello, we are jointhepipe.org, the first social network of tap water drinkers. People joining from everywhere, sharing the same dream, this redistributing water in a fair way across the world. To do so, our idea is building the longest water pipe in the world, long enough to bring water wherever there is no water. So go to our website and become our member for 24 euros per year. You will receive in exchange one of our specially designed bottles, a piece of the longest water pipe in the world. You have seen it uh, in the hall. These are all the pieces. This is a collection of them. This is how they connect and that they could form the longest uh, water pipe in the world. They can be personalized with your own color and have your logo on the sticker placed on the bottom. We also sell a line of water carafes in ceramic to be put in restaurants, dinner tables at home, or meeting rooms at work. And we produce tap stations to be put in parks, train stations, airports, commercial malls, everywhere, outdoor and indoor, to fill your bottles. The money we we'll get from uh, the sales will be reinvested in water-related projects in Africa, Asia, and wherever is needed. So far, thanks to our members, we have financed 52 projects in Bangladesh, Congo, Malawi, and Kenya, and brought safe water to over 25,000 people. The more people will join, there is also Gorbachev with us, the longer the pipe will become. And meter after meter, bottle after bottle, we're going to live in a world where everyone is worthy to drink. For more information, please contact us on Twitter, Facebook, Foursquare, LinkedIn, or contact me at lorenzojointhepipe.org. And remember, bottled water is for uh, losers. Thanks, enjoy tap water. End of the commercial break. <laughs> Thank you.
We apologize for the interruption and we're now ready to continue the presentation. Where were we? Oh yes, that weird place that we were talking about, where today 1.2 billion in this place uh, didn't drink a drop of water. And another billion, including us, unfortunately also all of us in this room, have flushed each of them 70 liters of drinkable water in their toilets. If you're wondering where this place is, don't look too far. We dream another word, a word like this one, where everybody has you know, water to drink. Please join us. Thank you very much.